Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of the manager career mode on SC25 in PlayStation 4. We have got an exciting lineup for today's matches. First off, let's jump right into the American Challenge Cup where we faced the Latium. I didn't change the squad because, well, why mess with perfection, right? So the match starts and just a few minutes in Holland. Oh, why? Holland comes in like a wrecking ball, man, flying through the iron like he's auditioning for a super good movie and boom. He smashes that header in and we are up 1-0. I swear the guy's head is magnetic to footballs. Then not long after Grealish decides it's his turn to join the party, he lines up shoes and before you know it, the ball is in the back of the net 2-0. Just like that, at this point, Latin is scrambling, making substitutions like they are trying to reboot a bad movie but it's not working, they are still struggling to get past our defense. Second half rolls around and Latium is still trying to find a way through and right around the 85th minute they make another substitution hoping to change the game. A minute later they get a corner kick. This is their chance but no, De Bruyne is like not today and heads it away. Latium tried but they just could not break through. The final whistle blows and we walk away with a 2-0 win. Sue, your overall impression? Well, I thought they deserved to win the game, didn't they? They played some really nice stuff. I thought they dominated the midfield area and the work rate was excellent. It's a great result, that. Well, Erling Haaland is a handful and then some for any defender. What are your thoughts on his performance today, Sue? Yeah, a good performance, but then we wouldn't expect anything less. A solid six or seven out of ten. And he certainly played his part in the result. Man of the match, you already know it, Holland. The man's on fire. Now to the next match, this one was against Athletic Club and let me tell you, it didn't start well, just 6 minutes in, Ruben Diaz get a red card, oh my god. I mean what, now we are down to 10 men, but you know Holland, he doesn't care about the odds, 12 minutes in, he's like hold my get rid and smashes in a goal, we are up 1-0 even with a man down, the guy is basically a cheat code at this point. Athletic color, yeah, they tried, but it was not happening for them. And right before the half ended, Holland pulls off another magic trick and scores again. Second half, 55th minute, Holland. They are the team on course for victory. Well, this is worth watching again. Holland beats the challenge with such ease, and then Holland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top class goal from a top class player. He completes his hat trick. The crowd is going weird, and I'm just sitting there like. What did we do to deserve this? The guy's machine. It's 3 0 and we are cruising. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. In the last minute of the match, Holland almost bagged his fourth goal. He took the shot, but it just skimmed past the post. The guy was this close to scoring again, but hey, we still win 3 0. After the match, Bias got suspended for two games, so we had to make some changes. Stones uh, came in to replace him, and we moved on to the big one the FA Community Shield against Manchester United. We prepared hard, but without the ass, we knew going it would be tough. In what's sure to be an exciting fixture, join us for all the action coming up next. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith, and we've got the first silverware of the season up for grabs with the Community Shield. 
it's Manchester United versus Manchester City. Yeah, the final game before the start of the season. It's an opportunity to win silverware, so I'd expect a real entertaining, competitive match. Hopefully we'll see some of the fringe players get some minutes here too. We know how difficult it can be to stop Erling Haaland when he's on his top form. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Well, he was unplayable in the last game. His clever movement, his excellent finishes. It was just brilliant to watch. Hopefully we'll see that again today. Here's how Manchester United line up. Well, it looks like a 4-2-3-1 when they're in possession. May go to a 4-5-1 when defending. You think the double pivot in midfield, they're key to protect the back line, but they also need to get forward to support the press. There's going to be plenty of threat from the wide midfielders too, I'm sure. This is the Manchester City starting 11. Edison is between the posts. John Stone starts alongside Manuel Akanji in the centre of defence. Rodri plays alongside Bernardo Silva in the heart of midfield. Manchester United came out strong and in the 30 minutes, uh, Anthony scored with a powerful strike. Oh my God, we are in trouble. All the crowd has been longing for. Just have a listen to that. Well, here's the replay, and he does really well. He takes his man on with ease, but then there's still plenty to do, to be fair. He's hit it with lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a really good strike. I would try to get back into the game, but it was not working out. Then in the 79th minute, Bruno Fernandes scored another one and that was game over. United walked away with the trophy and we were left with nothing. After the match, I told the press conference. to get on the end of it but then just look at this finish guys reads the flight perfectly absolutely smashes it beyond the keeper there's no stopping that on day one you can't do any better than that no you can't and of course they're going to have bigger challenges to come but it was a good performance and i'm sure they're going to take that into the season it's a victory cue United walk away with the trophy and we were left with nothing. Trophy, isn't it? And as players you want to win absolutely everything that you're competing for. Look at the smiles on their faces. Now the last in line, going up to be greeted by teammates and then to lift the trophy. A captain with his hands on the cup to start the season in style. Well, just look at the celebrations from the players. You can see how much it means to them. And the fans that have stayed have got their moment to save it. Yeah, it's for them too, isn't it? Wonderful scenes. It's just the way you want your season to start. And now the photographers get their chance. This is the shot that you'll see around the world. Yeah, you've got to enjoy this moment. Take it all in. Then it's about refocusing for the start of the season. After the match, I told the press conference, uh, we will be bossed back and we are going to make the necessary changes. Let be honest, not having Diaz really hurt us, but we will come back stronger. All right, that's it for the today's episode. We have got more exciting matches coming up. To stay tuned, don't forget to like, subscribe and share to my YouTube channel for the daily content like this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.